So let me explain how a vaccine works and why we might have to take it annually. Now, the mRNA vaccines need to be stored at minus 80, and that makes it very difficult for us in St. Lucia because um, we don't have those facilities. Hence, we find ourselves with the AstraZeneca, which is a very good vaccine. Um, how it works, there's in that vaccine, there's a, there's a viral um, envelope, and inside of it is a DNA sequence for the spike protein of the coronavirus. When that vaccine gets injected into us, that our cells, especially our immune cells, take up the DNA, they start to produce the spike protein, the body then develops an immune response to that spike protein. That immune response, which is specific to the spike protein, is both antibody and cellular immune response. That goes into memory. In memory, it means that if we ever get exposed to that virus at all, or to that spike protein on a virus, our bodies will very quickly mount a specific response. Because when you get exposed to, a, to a, a virus, it takes you seven to 14 days for you to mount a specific response. If you have a vaccine, you might mount a specific response within a few minutes, a few hours, or a couple of days. That response is dependent on the memory in your immune system of that particular virus that you want to react to. So let me give you one vaccine. You have a certain amount of memory. We tend to boost it, which is why we, at, at eight weeks or 12 weeks, we're saying repeat the AstraZeneca vaccine, so we boost it. That makes the memory better. The analogy I use is if you want to remember something that you have read, you read it a second time. That way you have a better memory of it. So that is how, how the booster works.